29 year old uh, male that was diagnosed as having Kawasaki disease six years ago. Uh, he underwent coronary bypass uh, six years ago, which uh, was complicated uh, by extensive uh, posterior wall myocardial infarction. One of his grafts uh, uh, and his left circumflex artery uh, closed. Uh, he deteriorated, developed cardiogenic shock. Uh, and uh, was transferred to a different hospital from the first hospital that he was in, wasn't our hospital, uh, and uh, was uh, on ECMO for a while and then uh, underwent implantation of LVAD, left ventricular assist device. Uh, under the LVAD, his heart improved and uh, several months later, uh, almost a year later, he had uh, his LVAD removed. And he was fine for about four years. Uh, during the last several months, he developed shortness of breath and uh, was uh, diagnosed as having congestive heart failure. Uh, he had the uh, echo that showed a large, a cavity uh, attached to his uh, posterior wall with uh, communication between the left ventricle to this cavity. And this was uh, diagnosed as, is, as a, a pseudo aneurysm of the left ventricle. Probably he had, uh, uh, due to his uh, posterior wall myocardial infarction, small rupture, but uh, uh, in view of the multiple chest opening that he had, uh, th there were uh, a lot of adhesions that uh, saved his life. So slowly by this uh, hole got bigger and the cavity got larger and larger and uh, he was uh, transferred immediately to the hospital, to our hospital. Uh, the, he underwent a CT as well as TEE and uh, both modalities showed that uh, the cavity is a pseudo aneurysm with a communication to the left ventricle. Uh, the opening was about two centimeter and uh, the cavity was more than, the, uh, larger than the size of, uh, of his left ventricle. So, and that's why he was uh, with heart failure. Blood pressure was low and uh, uh, they decided to operate on him because uh, operation, closing this uh, aneurysm, is uh, probably the first choice of therapy for this. And actually was the only choice of therapy until we did what we decided to do. But since this patient had already four times major surgery uh, opening his uh, heart and uh, understanding that the surgery that he will have uh, uh, the surgeon will have to operate his mitral valve as well and he might finish this surgery not only with a patch closing the, the, uh, the hole but also uh, with a mechanical mitral valve which is another problem to his already major problems. Uh, I thought that there is a possibility to fix and close this hole uh, using a device that we use in post VSD. post VSD is a hole between uh, the left ventricle and the right ventricle caused by myocardial infarction. And uh, there's a specific device, an amplitzer type of device that uh, is being used to close it. Never used to close left ventricle free wall rupture uh, because this is a surgical procedure. So uh, the patient was, as he said, uh, to people that were asking. He was already in the OR when uh, I decided to go and explain to him that uh, there is maybe another chance to fix it. And it's risky, but uh, it's, uh, I think it's less risky than having the surgery. So he, after thinking and after uh, discussing it with his parents, he decided to go ahead with it and we took him to the cat lab and we performed this procedure and successfully. Uh, we closed the, the, all the, 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 the communication between the left ventricle to the pseudo aneurysm. Echo immediately post-procedure show no communication. Left ventricle 
uh, was uh, functioning relatively good and there was no compromise of his mitral valve uh, so and he left the hospital two days post procedure and so with this uh, outside the box thinking do you think professor Luetta, that you'll be using this type of procedure again and others will follow you in this type of procedure i think i think if the uh, anatomic situation uh, are uh, good or uh, fit for this type of procedure, we should think and to use it, uh, even though it's not, never was intended for this uh, problem. Uh, but you know, it's, it's like with everything in medicine, you, you start, uh, you do one thing, for the first time and then uh, the next time if we'll have someone like this probably not in my career anymore but uh, maybe in the future uh, someone will think that uh, we'll know that we did something like that and they uh, will follow that's it okay